Hey guys, thanks for joining me on my latest adventure. I'm currently island hopping through Greece. I'm here for the summer. And right now I'm in the small Cycladic island of Sifnos. I've never been here before and it's a flyby visit. I'm in here for three days, but I'm gonna show you all that I can within that time. I'm staying in the small town of Castro, just looking through reviews. Um, it seemed like the nicest place to stay and I found an absolute gem of a hotel. This is technically a budget hotel, um, but it has what I think is the best view in Sifnas. Let me show you. The hotel is called Agnanti. They have two parts. There's the Agnanti traditional, which is the sister hotel, and then the Agnanti, which is where I am. And all of the rooms have this incredible view. You can probably see, but like next to me, that's another room there. And then there's a room above me as well. So it's honestly a gem of a hotel. It cost me 190 pounds for three nights and it includes breakfast. I've just had the breakfast. It's a really nice breakfast actually. So yeah, that was last night. Castro. I'm going to go there every night, I think, because I fell in love with it. Now I'm going to go and jump in a hire car. The hotel have arranged one for me. Um, well, I say arranged. They called the guy. I'm going to go and pay for it, that kind of thing, you know. They're going to pick me up and take me to their office, and then I'm just going to spend the next two days zipping around, exploring. Okay, so I'm in my car. Just to let you know, in Sifnos, I don't know whether it's a season thing, um, because obviously COVID and everything's a bit different right now, but... It's a bit of a nightmare to book a car, so try and pre-book your car if you can. It took me a while and I had to get a manual, um, which I'm fine with, I can drive, but I prefer an automatic. But yeah, it's definitely worth trying to pre-book a car in Sifnos. like that rock right there is a good little spot sunbathe a little have a little swim I just jumped in the water it was a bit spontaneous I didn't bring my towel down <laughs> but I just saw this little cave and was like yep I'm going in and it was lovely and now I just have to uh, drip dry. Okay, next up we have Platis Gialos, which is one of the larger beaches here. I think this is where I will just chill and have a bit of lunch, to be honest. But once again, amazing water. Swimming's gonna be awesome. And yeah, there's like beach clubs and bits here, or you can just put your towel out. So I'm back in the car. That beach wasn't really my vibe. Um, really nice if you're going with families, I guess, or if you want like a nice wide stretch of sand, but I prefer like the cute little ones. So I'm just gonna carry on driving. I'm gonna save my lunch until I find another beach. The next one is gonna be Vati. Vati, Vati, I'll show you it on the map. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna carry on driving around and hope that I find somewhere nice for lunch. So I came out of the car park and came straight to this restaurant. Literally, you walk through the um, walkway from the car park, you get to the sea, and then there's these two little restaurants, so tucking in. So I had some lunch, and now just laid out my towel. This is me for the afternoon. I was gonna go to another beach, but I figured I'd save some for tomorrow, but yeah, this is the uh, Vati Beach View.
I had a nice relaxed day um, at the beaches, driving around. Honestly, my favourite part of the day was actually driving. Not so much the beaches, I just loved driving. Um, I'm headed now into Castro, which is the place that you see from the view of my gorgeous room, uh, navigating whilst talking to you. Um, I actually went there last night and I filmed a bit of it. So I'm gonna mix together the two nights to show you Castro because there's this really lovely viewpoint and there's a tiny little church on almost like its own little island. Like you walk through the town and then it has this little walkway through the sea. So I went there last night, I'm gonna go again. And yeah, I'm just gonna mix together the two different evenings for you to see it's beauty so just for reference this is agnanti which is where i'm staying and that's the town so it's like a two minute walk and there's a little walkway across as well so super super easy how pretty is this spot along the way had to put my hair out my goodness I was hot walking back up that hill this place is like so deserted which is kind of nice walking around by myself really pretty very typical Greek oh with some cute colored doors but I don't know if I'm walking anywhere I'm kind of just like snaking around until I find a restaurant I have no plan other than that but just enjoying the pretty streets for now A soul in sight. <laughs> Boy, do I deserve a cocktail. So, I shall follow the music and get myself a cocktail. really close to Milos so if you've seen any of my Milos content you'll know that there's a beautiful island called Poliegos right near Milos but it's also I'm gonna speak louder because the uh, engines are going it's also really close to Sifnos so today we're gonna cross the waters and go to Poliegos
was quite something. It was like a little mermaid's cave and the water was so clear. And then you kind of got this little top bit there. And then when you go inside, there's another like open cave. So pretty. And we were the first boat here. So there's 10 of us on this boat. I'll link all of the details of the boat in the description. Um, but yeah, there's 10 of us on this one and we were the first here. So we just had like the whole little lagoon to ourselves. So nice. So Polly Agos is actually called Many Goats and um, just got back on the boat. Two chaps left on the beach and they've got a few friends. So the goats here actually come down to drink the salt water. So that is the water they drink. But it was so funny because the guys fed one of the goats and now so many other goats have come down and they're all just circling the tent. It's the cutest thing though. Um, my GoPro poetically ran out of battery on the very last stop on the boat trip, but it was so good. Highly recommend it. The team were amazing. Um, so great to go to Polyagos. It's one of my favourite places. And yeah, it was really, really fun. Then I got back and I was super tired, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a night in. Then I got super hungry and then I was lazy. So. This is a confession of a solo adventurer right here. This has never happened to me before. There's something about Sifnos that makes me not want to go too crazy about exploring. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I've just felt so relaxed right here in Castro. Um, so every single night I've gone for dinner in Castro itself. Um, so yeah, last night just walked up, another recommendation from the hotel, had a really nice solo dinner watched the sunset here and came back and, and went to bed. Did a tiny bit of work, um, packed, ready for leaving today, and then yeah, went to bed. It's crazy, because normally when I'm traveling, I make it like my mission to see as much as I can in a short space of time. I've only been in Sifnos for three days. So like, it's crazy to think I've been to the same place every night for dinner, but then it's also kind of nice as well, because I felt really relaxed and chilled and I could just walk to dinner and I just, nothing's beating that view, I just, I love it here, so, so yeah, that was me, um, short and sweet trip here in Sifnos, I'm on to another island today, I'm getting the ferry in about an hour's time, I'm going to have some breakfast first, but yeah, this was a new one for me, like I really kept myself here in Castro, um, and then just explored during the day, but I really liked it, so that is the end of this week's vlog, I'm off to another island today, and that will be next week's vlog, but that's all from Sifnos, thanks for watching, bye!